ecological succession succession means the different stages of success so it is the observed changes in an ecological community over time as the ecological community successes that what are the different changes occurring in the ecological community so it is related to the time also so for example in this case there was a clean land then there are seeds then the they start growing and as the time proceeds so as you can see there was plain land then there are seeds then they starts growing and finally they becomes the complete forest so these are the different stages or different changes observed during the time so how does an ecological community develop it is given by the ecological succession which describes the process of development identifying how the community begins as well as how and when it stabilizes ecological succession is a gradual process by which ecosystem changes and develop over time it is therefore a series of predictable temporary communities or stages leading up to a climax community each stage is temporary community is called successional stage or sural stage all habitats are in the state of constant ecological succession each step prepares the land for the next successional stage ecological succession is again divided into two part one is primary succession second is secondary succession primary means primary succession refers to the series of community changes which occurs on a entirely new habitat which has never been colonized before while the secondary succession may refer to a series of community changes which take place on a previously colonized but disturbed or damaged habitat that means if there are something already and some new things are growing on that place so that can be considered as the secondary succession while in case of primary succession it takes place the, or the growth takes place on the bare land or the clean land so these are two types of ecological succession now what are the different processes or different stages of ecological succession so first of all it starts from the nudation nudation means the development of the bare site or uh, availability of the clean land so there is nothing on the land and that stage is known as nudation after nudation there is invasion invasion means invasion of new seeds so that means it is again divided into three part that is migration ascesis and aggregation that means first of all new seeds will migrate to the nude land and then they will establish themselves themselves that is ascesis and then finally there will be aggregation of more and more seeds and that is the third part that is aggregation once the seeds as are established and they have aggregated they will start growing and then there will be there will be start of the competition from these different different plants for the growth for the establishment for growth and spread various species begin to compare for spaces lights and nutrients so there will be start of the competition and finally whoever is stronger will reach to the stabilization and this stable state is known as climax community so these are overall process nudation invasion competition and stabilization Uh, there are some examples of aquatic ecosystems like estuary estuary is the place where fresh water stream or river merges with the ocean highly productive biome this is the highly productive biome important for fisheries and feeding place for waterfall often heavily polluted from river input so many fishes are not lost many fisheries are now lost estuaries form a transition zone between river environmentals and ocean environments and are subject to both marine influences such as tides waves and the influx of saline water and riverine influences such as flows of fresh water and sediments estuary provides habitat for a large number of organisms and support very high productivity estuaries provide habitat for many fish nurseries depending upon their location in the world such as salmon and sea trout so what are the limiting factors of growing population so in an 
in an ecosystem what are the different factors which can control the growing population and these are availability of the food water shelter and space so with availability of all these things the population will grow so these are the limiting factors for the growth of population of any living organism and what is geo bio geochemical cycle the cyclic movement of minerals from their reservoir like air water and soil to the living components and back to the reservoir is called nutrient cycling or bio geochemical cycle